welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson, and this is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Uh, hi, guys. So, to, as a change of pace, instead of our, we, we already so far reviewed several movies that were deal with the slasher genre, so we thought we might give you something a little bit more lively for the <laughs> um, kids at home. For, oh, yeah, for all you kiddies, and kiddies at heart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, what is this, um, <sighs> this, show, this thing we're reviewing today? <laughs> yeah. You would do this to me. Yes, Magic Kongyun Renaissance. It's a, a Japanese um, media uh, anime. That's, mm. It's a mixed media. It does PlayStation shooting crap and everything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I gather it. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I don't know when the movie came out. I'm trying to look here. I've got PlayStation's original run 2016, <laughs> so... I will presume it came out about the same time. Mm. Okay, right, here we go. Um, yeah, it's a 13-part anime. Well, you know what anime is. I don't have to tell you what anime is. Okay? Yeah. Uh, mm. It's about a girl who goes to a... a special art academy. Art academy, university type thing, where um, you've, got, you've got... I suppose you're developing your magical powers. Not like Hogwarts or anything. It's a mm, bit like no. you've got... Uh, it's... Developing your artistic style. Yeah, but you got an inner energy it's releasing. Yeah, because when yeah, you yeah, develop yeah. an artistic style, mm, yeah. people in general will mm. notice your artwork and they'll be, yeah. whoa, this is unbelievable. Yeah, so and then they it gives off this energy that you and cannot makes describe. And happy or... Yeah, it's, got, it, it's, it's, a, yeah, yeah, it's not like magic magic, but it's got yeah, yeah. your personal... Uh, where do you put it? I don't know how we put it. A personal it. touch to you, it. You're, you're, you're per, you, as an individual, have an effect on your artwork, but your artwork uh, is controlled by the way you feel towards your art. Yeah. So the more positive you are, the more positive the result in the artwork, yeah. and the more people get affected by yeah. it. And the, yeah, pretty pretty much. Much. yeah, yeah. And the character yeah, yeah. in this that we, we follow around with, she is into... Um, uh, um, flower arrangement thingy wing. Yeah. So, and it had, brings magical powers to people got, ra- ra- yeah. around her, makes and them feel better yeah. and, and uh, have more energy and different and things. And she yeah. wants to join her mother's alma mater, that's the term. Yeah, she went to the same college years earlier. Yeah. yeah. And wants to follow in her mother's footsteps. So yes. let's discuss um, the other stuff like who created this, who was star- who <sighs> did the voice actors, and you know, all that stuff. You would, would definitely <clears throat> ask that question. It's all Japanese names. Well, what else okay, can we say right. about it? Uh, okay, right. Um, there's a few things here. I've got to figure this out a bit. I think the game came out first. I'm not real sure. Mm. Um, Most likely. Back in 2016. Mm. Uh and then I think the manga series came in serialization about the same time. Right. Uh, and the anime series started not long after. Mm. So about all about 2016. Now, mm. who did what to whom? Okay. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll bypass the game itself. But the manga books were written by a guy called... Uh, crikey. Hajime Yatate. I think, uh, and illustrated by Junta Mio. Mm-hmm. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Right. Uh, now, when it goes in the anime, obviously, uh, the director by Mitsu Yamazaki uh, and written by uh, Tomoko Konparu. Okay. Uh, I hope that's right. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I non speak Japanese. It's, yeah, um, yeah, original run date 2016. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, well, it was all done at that, about the same time. Now, okay. I won't go through all these people because I don't know how to say the names. Uh, there's a young girl who's the centre of it. Yeah, a little bit like reverse hair and things like that. Well, yeah, it's going to be that part. Uh, her name is uh, Kohana Agaski. Yeah, no, Agasaki. Yeah, okay, right. She's mm-hmm. a nice little girl to be center of it. Um, voiced by Sayaka Senbongi, I think is the right name. And she's a nice little girl who's uh, the, the story centers around. Now, she's surrounded by a bucket load of guys. About, yeah, about, about six. seven dwarves, but all tall guys. Well, <laughs> six or roughly. Six or seven guys. I won't go through all the names and who they are, but. but um, 
there's Tika uh, and uh, crikey, I can't say the names there. You make it really hard, don't you? <laughs> uh, that's why she usually likes me doing these a bit. Uh, <laughs> it's a joy. Uh, I uh, Sumi Noima, uh, mm. Renato Takawaki. <laughs> yeah, see, he's my favourite. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lewis, Lua, say, what? Well, he's a ringing. Enzo, Mone Sukushi, uh, Kanato Hibiki. Now, these guys are all different things. One does calligraphy, one's a singer, one's a, mon- a monochrome artist, one's a sculptor who realises his uh, best skill is in cooking, etc., etc. W- one guy plays cello. He's really, really good. Yeah, I, well, um, I, mean, I like ch- the cello sound. Yeah. It's so yeah, nice. but these guys are really, really talented mm-hmm. guys. So, yeah, very um, talented. And she touches each of these guys in mm-hmm. a way with her kind nature, kind and nature, her innocence. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Her the power that comes out of her when she gets into a flower arranging, the power that she generates helps generate oh, their power yeah. hmm. and makes them better people. I think yeah. that would be about yeah. the best way to put it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. the other characters, I won't mention their names, you, you, their yeah. real names, but there's also a teacher and a dean, like a principal who runs the academy, and this cute little hedgehog that's sort of Monet's best yeah, my, my friend's little, little, little pet, friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's he just like, all he's just, he does is tweet is um chirps. Rin, 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 is it? Rin, rin? What's his name? Rin, 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 rin. Whatever, he's a little, he's a cutie pie. Yeah, and only just says, Doof. he does look like Sonic, does he? He's nah, adorable. He's not blue. <laughs> and got point now. Anyway, anyway I'll, I'll get into the story. Uh, I, I, there's not much to talk about these things. I can't say about produce, directed, and blah, blah, and and budgets and stuff, because there isn't any stuff. So, um, mm. But anyway, um, I will get on to the availability later. Right. Okay. Go so, for it, kid. So our lead lady, um, Aki... No, Kohana. Okana. Kohana. Kohana yeah, is yeah, yeah. attending um, the, art, the art academy, obviously, and she's excited because, she, but unfortunately, she didn't apply, you know, like, like ordinary. She kind of missed the final exams that you normally have to take to yeah, apply. She wasn't, she wasn't well or something? Or? Yeah, she yeah, got yeah, developed yeah, yeah. something and she, could, and she couldn't do the exams, but Shame. fortunately, the, the anyway. dean, um, seeing as that the she's... Entrance, was it? The late entry, yeah. they allowed her to come in as an ex... All the same. Anyway, so she comes there. She actually meets our six individual guys at different times. Yeah, where slow, she, don't be sleazy, sneezy, and doc, was it? No, uh-huh. no, no whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she enjoys their sparkle, the thing yeah. that makes them oh, mem. Yeah, that's one thing. She can, when these guys and other people do their artwork, they emanate this sort of, she calls it sparkles, yeah. Uh, she, she can yeah. see it. It's a bit like auras and yeah. stuff. And she that's can actually see funny. them. And they get a bit surprised that she can actually see their sparkles, as she calls them all the time. Yeah. Uh, and she's she's wrapped in These yeah. guys are fantastic. Yeah. yeah. She can see the emotion and the yeah. passion coming out of them. I think my favourite yeah. ones yeah. would be the guy who does the cello. And Monet's one was pretty cool because he starts, like Mike says, yeah, he monochrome does monochrome art, which artwork. paint art. Paintings, it's beautiful, beautiful where stuff, it's yeah. all black and white, in which but, is not but, too bad. But that's his world. He doesn't see color very good yeah. in his imagination. But by the end of the series, he starts realizing he gets his colored pencils yeah. and paints. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. he starts <laughs> realizing his work is a lot more appreciated if he actually puts color in his yeah. life. A little bit of, you know, he he's a little scared. As I, as I think when he was a child, he he, he, he was uh, he made a color choice that was bad, and someone knocked him saying went monochrome. Yeah. I think, I mm. think, yeah. Because most of these guys, they had a bit of a past trauma because they were either a pro, um, they were prodigies, obviously. No, they they were told told they were like the the guy, one of the guys, the dancer, and he was forced to dance and compete by his mother. Yeah, and he wanted to do that to keep his mother happy. happy. And then when he was a, a teenager, she left. Yeah, moved out and she moved out. divorced her husband. And, and she had nothing to do with him anymore. And huh? the other yeah, guy, so what's his goods. name, yeah. is um, Tika. What's his name? The, um, the singer. Tika. Prod- Tika. Tika. He is um, a music prodigy and he's got this amazing voice. His one song in this anime is in English. We it, will, we will rock you. No, no, mm. no, no, not that one. No, it's okay. rather beautiful. It's... 
It really touches the soul, and I like the fact his sparkle is these beautiful rose crystals. Well, yeah, rose will, oh, that's it. Yeah, he, he seems to have the most, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's called the king of the, the academy. Yeah, but, well, because of his, his power and um, his talent. He, he doesn't have to practice that much. Yeah. He does anyway. Mm. Uh, but he hears he something once, he can remember mm. it and sing it. Uh, that's yeah. all. He's really good. But the yeah. thing is, his family, his older brothers, his brothers. are forcing him to achieve Greatness. at a higher level mm. uh, and beat yeah. everybody all the time like it's a power play yeah. and he doesn't like that his best yeah. friend yeah. I think his name um, Owie I think his name is, is Oi. Owie. Uh, and he's he's into what's the term calligraphy, calligraphy. Yeah. the Japanese stuff you know they the big, the big, the big sign to do the big letters and do it artistically well he, he's one of those guys yeah the, way, the fancy stuff We're, anyway mm. he is a um, He's very shy, and he doesn't talk very much. He's into his art. He's just focused uh, on his writing ability. Uh, but he loves his friend, and he tries to be there to support him in his singing career as much as possible. Anyway, so we then meet Lou. Of, I mean, no, we, we already done Lou, obviously. We meet um, Monet's cousin, I think his name yeah, is. Yeah, Renato, is it? Yeah. The, the sculptor Who, guy? He starts off as a sculptor, but he, he also develops his... Um, he loves had cooking. Hobby of cooking food. Yeah, he's very good at. It. But I think he started sculpting. Of course, he was impressed with his uh, grand- grandfather. Yeah. His grandfather was a sculptor. He used to go to this college or whatever years ago, and he wanted to be just like his grandfather and be a great sculptor. But that wasn't what he was called mm. to do, was it? Yeah. No. So anyway, back to our leading lady. She uh, meets our last guy, who is the um, the singer guy. And they, he, she talks about the whole sparkle thing, and she realizes that from her roommate that she hasn't developed her sparkle thingy wing yet. And because she's copying her mother's because flower just, arranging yeah. and not doing creating her own. Yeah, see, her um, mother's sparkle looks like fireworks, yeah. or maybe a more there's more than one set of sparkles. Or some, or some like. popcorn going off in a saucepan. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. she hopes to be like her and join her mother's academy, all that stuff. But when she tries to her flower arrangements, you, you, get, you get one or two little sparkles one, might dribble well, out, and then they just uh, disappear. Well, in this case, she starts off struggling because mm. she feels like. It's not there, and it doesn't look quite right. She's trying to copy. Have ever heard a copyright kid? <laughs> and but then he, she approaches um, the singer guy, and he tells her that maybe this is not a place for you, and you should just give up. But she eventually um, doesn't give up, and eventually in class, when the teacher introduces her as an ex- sort of a exchange student or whatever, anyway. He then announces the Spring Festival, which means the event organisers will be presenting a special art session thingy. Where they all do the arts together yeah, and combining the Combining all out. their powers yeah, yeah, yeah. together to make this beautiful sculpture or display. Of a tree or something. Was it a tree? Or something, I'm a not bit sure. Like, a, bit, a bit like the Tree of Life, but really huge. But yeah. very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he announces that he, the singer guy is going to be the organiser, the head organiser. Yep. And she is going to be the vice president yes, same, and yeah. this is where he reveals her name and this is and where we get a bit of a a rivalry between them or not really more on his side because he only knows her as a bit of a uh, as a rival because his family and her go back way back yeah, centuries for years mm. and it's been like that for a long time and They've he thinks against each other yes because of talents but i don't know yeah and he wants to be the the prince to this academy. I should mention there's a special building on the academy, the art academy grounds, that allows them the indiv- the cho- special chosen one out of the um, every school year to walk up the steps as a bit of a cel- you know yeah, celebrate. Yeah, the prom sort of thing. You yeah. Know? Yeah, 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 of course, this is only for one person, probably per year. Obviously, yeah, not. You've got to earn the right. You have to, be able to earn go up the that staircase. particular. Yeah. Right, and it's a beautiful staircase. It's like got these beautiful um, special glass windows. It's just like it's, really it's very beautiful yeah, really it's, pretty. and very pretty. Oh, there you go. No. Anyway, so we get back to our group. They st- um, the only people who are attending 
the meetings is just her and the um, singer sure, guy. Yeah, and, of course, the teacher who's just an, um, an advisor there just to keep things in order and perspective. But uh, Sherry Toto. Uh, yeah. Toto, Toto, Sherry. Yeah. But, yeah. Here, but the other students who were also selected to take part ref- have, don't bother to show up. They didn't bother. They didn't, they didn't care less. Yeah. yeah. The first one, she, but of course, our lady decides to go ahead and tries to persuade them to come on board. The first one she, she gets to meet up with would be Aoi, who is in his own creative zone, if you can call it that. Or, More like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah, his little art room is a mess, if you could believe well, it. Well, Inkle of the Place. Inkle of the Place. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should see the scene where she enters the room and bam, like it's like yeah. from a slasher movie. Yeah, it's sort of like she had this big black splash of paint across her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she notices right. his um beautiful sparkles that were more spiky, according to her. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he was getting there, but he did wasn't quite right. Yeah, he's yeah. trying to find the right word, the right word, words. And the right style, and everything yeah. else. He's getting yeah. so close, but he just wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, but thanks to her her flower arranging, he then finally found the inspiration to and write the right word. And there's also, a, a, I should mention, there's going to be a few amusement, uh, music arrangements in ep- each episode, wouldn't you say, Mike? Oh, there. There's a bit of music and, and look, and look, it's like a Bollywood thing. Yeah, they, 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 songs pop up all over the place. Yeah. You know. In one or two of the episodes. <laughs> well, not really one or two, just usually symbolising each of them opening to their creativity. Yeah, 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 yeah opening their creativity, saying, yeah. hey, I'm having a really good day. Yeah. It's like a butterfly has come out of my heart. That's the yeah. usual crappy stuff they do put yeah. in these songs. So, yeah. Ari <laughs> joins them, and later on, the others soon follow eventually, after... Um, she makes this. She at first she was going to do a demonstration for a class exercise where you show you off your ability. But the pressure from everyone, all the students around the quad, uh, pressuring her to do her best. And but the thing it's was, adds a little pressure to the yeah, brain. And I think I think what happened is, she was trying to do a good flower arrangement, but using her mother's arm using her, her mother's style. Yeah, copying what her mother did without actually having it come from her own heart, yeah. her own inner being. So it looked pretty, but it did absolutely nothing. Yeah, the teacher yes. tells them, you have one day to fix it. Yes, and she had to do it again. And guess what? It worked. Yay. Yeah, it spread these... It fell into a tree, and it looked. Everyone, everyone around the school was saw this or seen this. And, of course... Two of our guys are, let me see, um, the guy who does the cello, his name is... Parker Lux. Ka, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kanato. Kanato, and his friend Louis. Yeah, his yeah the Angel, the, the yeah. dancer guy. He's, yeah. See, he's, he speaks a lot of French words, even yeah. though he's supposed to be he, he's very um, Japanese, obviously. <laughs> and, of course, he comes on board, obviously, and they, of course, at first... Um, Louis, um, he, 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 just so you guys know, Louis, um, d- he was meant to graduate this year, but unfortunately oh, well, he decided... Well, the previous year, but he, 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 he doesn't want to graduate, I think he's, what's the word, he want, well, not nervous, he, or he doesn't want to, he doesn't have the confidence, or he just doesn't yeah. want to do it or something, yeah. or I can't remember. I also yeah. to mention, guys, yeah. apart from the special art session thingy wing and the spring festival thing there's also a special ball that comes way afterwards and this is where um louis helps our lead girl to learn the waltz the dancing stuff and there they had he teaches her and he also questions whether or not he should be part of the group the guy the head guy tells him um you you're you're just playing around messing around we and i don't think you're good enough to just be part of this group, so I suggest you leave and and save us the pain of, you know, this sort of thing. Yeah. So, but unfortunately, she comes in and tells him that that she could tell that Louis loves dancing yeah. because of the way he walks and way he plays sexy basketball. Yeah, yeah. He plays this funny. He calls yeah. it sexy, sexy basketball, basketball yeah. because he always <laughs> gets the girls really w- and he enjoying around and it. But actually, uh, he, uh, yeah, I remember. He, 
he, he, he was suffering sort of uh, that sort of anguishy type, anguish type feelings. Yeah. Because of uh, he was forced to dance. He didn't really think he was good enough, and mm, and, um, and because his mum had done some damage to him mm. mentally and stuff. So he's always joking and flirting, and he's making people feel good around him, mm-hmm. but he's not practicing his skills yeah. as much as yeah. he should. He's real sex. Yeah. He has a lot of sex hormones. Oh, he's a good looking man. If, he, uh, if, if this was a live action, I'd like to, I wonder who they'd get to play him. He's really Ooh, out there. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I wouldn't <laughs> see that. He reminds me of. Uh, Mike and I agree that he, remind, we, he reminds us of a bit of Fabio, a little bit. Fab, a cross between Fabio and David Bowie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then again, Mike always compares a lot all of mangas and cr- animes as, n- n- as David Bowie. I did, the no, no, I, no, I didn't say I said there's a lot. When these guys do the anime, hmm. they don't look as... Asian as they do. They look more European. Mm, I agree. And I think the sculptured looks of the guys sometimes resemble David Bowie. Exactly. Because they, they, he had really distinct features, features. and looked mm. very handsome or whatever yeah. when he was a young man. And I, I said, oh, David Bowie again. Mm, <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. So yeah. yeah. He then te- continues teaching her <laughs> to dance and eventually he realises after she expressed how much she well she's doing um he starts seeing he, a reflection of how he felt when he first did it when he was 12 and he was kind of glad that thanks to her that he's developed this love of dance again yeah. they through her obviously and he, c- he continues to work hard with the in the group and our next guy is obviously the was the cello guy, obviously, who yeah, who, Kanata, yeah. Kanata, who goes around and helps the group as much as possible. He oh, even he'll be full of energy. I wish yeah. I had the energy. Crikey, yeah. I love the... Well, the energy is a bunny. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I love the scene when they were doing their photos and in one scene, Aoi who was confused about how you should portray being natural in a photo. And he just... He well. got some little tree branches and look, he looked like a deer hiding, hiding in the forest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Natural? Act, act natural. No. That's his idea of natural is looking yeah. like a tree. As I said before, he comes um, off as really weird. He's a weirdo. He's a good fellow. I like him. <laughs> anyway, it took them a little time trying to get their, the guy, the vice president guy, to act, nat- act natural for his photo. But... They even go ahead and try to pretend, he, you know, take squeeze toys and just tell him, try to get him to smile like a I'm child. I'm not a child. <laughs> and <laughs> he, unfortunately, Lou was able to get him to say, smiling is just a matter of just getting your, your mouth in the... Ma- the mouth to come up. You know, yes. And yeah. eventually, they're able to get him to smile. In the rest of the time in these photos, he's always giving off his a, a very dopey, not-so-nice not smile. Not, yeah, it, almost face. a smile. You know how Mona Lisa has got a bit of a... Mm. Smirk. Mm. He couldn't even get that. No, nope. I think that <laughs> the fact that it's being done by her taking the first, he probably all he, he could think about is how much he dislikes he, her or how yes. much his his family, family disliked her. Yeah. He, he had conflicts. He was starting to like her, but his family was saying she's an enemy of our family. Blah 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 yeah. blah. You know, yeah. Even though she didn't knew about this whole right the um no, she just r- wanted rivalry. To learn that, yeah, go to school and be just like a mom. Yeah, because you know, her mother never told her about it. She was only a little kid when she her mother well, died. Well, yeah, she didn't have time to tell, did she? Mm. No. It's like Harry Potter. Mm. Okay, he was under the stairs there at Uncle Bugloz's place. Yeah. They never told. They never told Harry Potter about the magic world or anything no, else. No, they refused to acknowledge that there was such yeah, a thing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so, anyway. same sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, moving on, they eventually they go into a. They ha- examine a special haunted ha- house on the quad, and that some kids have reported that there's a white woman. I mean, the, a woman yeah, dressed white in white, roams roaming, the, roaming the corridors water. at night there, and it's really scary. But it turns it? out it was just the teacher just patrolling yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. Yeah. teacher's class. Terry, the, yeah, he's uh, he's doing a security patrol there every night to make sure no one's broken in. And of course, <laughs> they announce it in a newsletter, and this gives them a good. Deal of media attention. <laughs> they got rid of the ghost out of the yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the ghost yeah, yeah. busting. Even though the preacher says no one bust me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Quite then funny. yeah, we then move on to uh, let me see. I should mention that more about they do mention in the next episode about more about the art session how all their hearts have to be one. 
Meaning yeah, they had to work the, in unison to, yeah, meaning to the join their spirits together, doing yeah. their own particular things, yeah. but doing it at the same time. Yeah. So all these magical things out yeah. of their personality yeah. would mix and blend and create something. Yeah, yeah. Kanato comes up with a solution of, of well, it actually comes up with several solutions of how to um, make sure they have the right amount of breathing. That's sort of intertwined in this sort of thing. You have to have your breathing... You know, at the you know, inhaling, breathing so together in unison. No, yeah, something. exactly. Oh. Of course, all the time the leader says um, that um, it, that our lead girl is continues to breathe out of sync with theirs, and she says, "Sorry, sorry." I'm what? exhausted anyway. <laughs> because what? they're yeah. doing a lot of all sorts of activities, including hitting. You know, know swinging sli- slippers, yeah. um, doing. Uh, yeah. Squats, I Squats think. Squats and, and doing volleyball type stuff. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And they eventually settle on volleyball and they decide to count off how many times they throw and the ball to each other. And that was when Monet joined them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Monet wants to... He, he was keeping himself distant yeah, from everything yeah. and he can't... He, he was watching them, but he was going to turn away, and then the ball went out in his direction. Yeah. And they called him, and he hit the ball back to him. He yes. Goes, Before that, he, he was to... considering leaving the academy and for transferring to somewhere England, else. somewhere else. Yeah, to tr- carry to on training study in monochrome, monochrome art. art. Yes. Of course, um, it, in one scene, he when he was telling the group that he's decided not to get involved, um, his little hedgehog friend, Renu, is um disappears and of course we find him just near one of our what's her name again? I keep forgetting her name. Who? Stupid me. The um uh the uh, our lead girl's name. I keep forgetting. Toto. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. What the hell? The wrong one. Uh, I don't know it's um Kohana. Kohana. Yeah, so she was, discovers his um him the hedgehog there and uh, of course he heard about the flower petal thingy wing that happened and he decides a change of heart where he decides to help them make the pamphlets and the posters for their group. And guess what colour was in? Black and white? Yes. <laughs> but eventually <laughs> he, she breaks through him, to him that breaks through his monochrome shell and tell him that she likes his colourful yeah, pictures. Yeah, he does in his private well, he, time. He, he did this in colour sketches of some flowers and stuff and she really loved them and she told, she told him how great they were uh-huh. and it inspired his confidence to do something mm. different. Yes. Mm. And this gives him the inspiration to open up to being part of the group and to do more coloured pictures in his life. Anyway, he he then invites his cousin, who's the sculpturist guy I told you guys about, who at this time is actually doing his one of his exams, and he's not doing so well because his woodwork sculptures keep getting rejected by his peers. They're good, but they're, they're good. They hasn't got that spirit in them. Yeah, even though it does generate sparks, there's no stopping. All these sparks are all over the place, but. They tell him you have one chance of ga- of d- doing better, and we and all that stuff. And if you don't, you'll drop out. Oh no, that's bad. And that would mean he would no longer be part of their the special group that he's, he's getting in. ready to leave. And he he makes these p- nice pastries well, for oh very nice They're yeah, a, a and presents them to his friends <laughs> and. When they eat them, they start feeling, oh my gosh, this is beautiful, this wonderful, is beautiful hand, wonderful. And, and he realizes that he, it wasn't sculpturing that was his, his main thing. He main wanted thing. to make people happy. He wanted to make people happy. And that's the, that was his magical skill inside him. Yeah, yeah. and he realizes that cooking was probably the was Which is what he's supposed to be doing, not you, sculpting. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, when yeah. they presented um, some of the a little a dish to the dean. He was impressed and knows that this is your magic art, therefore you pass. And he was very happy. Anyway, and so people could get feeding them. Yeah. yeah. Later <laughs> on, uh, our lady guy, he realizes that he's feeling the pressure, especially when his two brothers come around to attend uh, the spring now, festival thing. A bit of backstory here. Ooh, here comes this. Good, good. He has two brothers. Yeah, no, and no. they're really attractive. No, no, no. <laughs> Now, um, it, says, it, it says, oh, it says his older brother, his older brother. Yeah. Now, one of them, I think he's the older brother who's, um, 
used to go to the school and mm. he was uh he participated in the art session mm. with um yeah, uh, Kahana's mother mm-hmm. and the teacher, uh, Toto. Yeah, uh, they were all He's a trustee of the school, so he got money and stuff, okay? So he got a bit of power. Mm. And his other brother, who's also an older brother, he's also a trustee of the school. So that's why uh, uh, Tika is uh, under a lot of pressure because they mm. say, we want you to be the best. Yeah. You need to sing, sing for our family. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. The pressure's not on. Hey, yeah. under pressure. So, hey, yeah. David Bowie again. <laughs> yeah. They also approach on the day of the f- Spring Festival, approach um, our, our girl, and they said, this is, you better not hold back our 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 younger brother and all that stuff because this is, day is meant to be his day. But she tells them, the art session was, is meant for everyone, not exactly. just him in this situation. It's a group project, not an individual project. But, they don't, but eventually um, he, their brother steps in and tells them this, that, that both him and her are not enemies and that they may come from separate worlds, but, but they're, they're not enemies. And eventually they head towards the art session, which takes place in this very large tent, a, like a circus tent. Yeah, if like you will. a big, yeah, so, yeah, huge circus tent type thing. Yeah. Yeah. If you were in a stri- um, where we live, we often have this special tent uh, mm. circus that comes to town here and there. Yeah, it's circus and, all over the world. And yeah. here yeah. we have this yeah. Russian yeah. one that takes place here, and it yeah. has this interesting tent that reminds me of this one a little bit here. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah very huge tent. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So they go. Didn't see any clowns in there, though. Yeah, or elephants funny. or anybody. Lions or tigers. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone is assembled inside the tent <laughs> where they start the art session demonstration thing. And so it begins where everywhere our lead guy sings, the others do their own different things, and they build this sculpture using their powers, and which kind of grow this beautiful. Um, Huge tree type, huge tree type sculpture, yeah, full really of grew. flowers, full of. It just has a beautiful abstract feel to and it. And everyone's going, whoa. Yeah, and great. everyone cheers, Yay. and and everyone's impressed, including his brothers realizing that they were in the wrong, and they they were really impressed by the team effort. Yeah. Anyway, later that night, the. But, atten- they didn't, they, but they made a comment to him that he'd grown and developed into a fine man mm-hmm. and he can be in control of his own life. Oh, yes. So yeah, later on, after they, yeah. the art session was ended, he, he they, his two brothers remarked how they were impressed with his work at the, the art session and and respect his... They respected you know, them and you can know. you be your own man and make your own decisions. Don't let us yeah. get in the way. Yeah. About later, bloody time. Yeah. Yeah. That very night, our, the after party is, is in session. It's a beautiful ball where everyone's dancing and our girl gets to dance with the five of the um, other guys, obviously. And, of course, she dances beautifully and they all thank her individually well, in different parts. Well, the other guy, uh, Angel, uh, he, yeah, Lou, taught her how to dance. He's oh, the yeah. dancing guy. He taught her how to dance so she wouldn't make a fool of herself. Yeah. Later on, um, as they all ask her for the final dance, according to them, this is important. But then our guy approaches her, grabs her hand and say, let's dance. And they dance near the near a sort of pond or lake, I think it is. And all the sure. crowd disappeared. Yeah. And <laughs> the guys watch and they a little disappointed, and but they, not... They said, no, he hasn't danced the night anyway. He needs to dance. So yeah, yeah. They, it's his they were time. good about it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And now he just, I mean, now he says that he's impressed that his friend is now changed and is happy. Yes, and exactly. he eventually... And they, yeah, some of these guys, Mona and his little brother or cousin or something, they knew each other. And, and this guy and the and the, the painter, yeah. the, the, the calligraphy guy, mm-hmm. they grew up together. So yeah, there was a bit of family history and friends and stuff there yeah, before well, they came to the college. Some of them yeah. Um, yeah. had connections, but other yeah. times they were not really. <clears throat> seeing as they're different classes, that you know. But they knew each other. They knew each yeah, other. Yeah. Anyway, mo- well, and most of them are roommates, I should mention. Some of them. Some of them. Um, I think. I like Joanna's roommate. Yeah. She was pretty cool. She was a bit of a fox, wasn't like she? Like Monet yeah. is roommate <laughs> with the. Um, con- Tato, the um, celloist, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lou is <laughs> roommates with um, Monet's brother. And Aoi, I guess, might be roommates with um, 
Um, the other guy. The other guy, obviously. Because they can see their best friends. And the girl has a girl roomie. Yes, okay. I should mention it. Anyway, later... In the tenth episode, they go on a summer break. I think that's the term. Yeah, they did. Yeah, the, where, to the beach was it? Yeah, 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 yeah where yeah, they yeah. go to the summer villa. It's very beautiful, trust me. And there, they on the first day, they get to have a lot of fun. Got to eat, have a barbecue. Yeah, barbecue on the beach. And, and the cooking guy, uh, Bugger Lugs, he did the barbecue and fed them all, and they're very, very happy and full, and ate every mouthful. Except mm -hmm. for Ramona, who doesn't like the carrots. He hates he, he carrots. He hates carrots. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. He hates the taste and smell of carrots. He'll, he'll eat them. you eat them. But he said he doesn't want to smell them. Yeah. Something like Yeah. Yeah. And maybe because of bright, bright orange, he doesn't like colour. Mm, ah. Anyway, um, after the, their fun time to, that night, they... Uh, as um, our girl, they're going to get together again this, in the evening to watch some fireworks and pop, exactly. and do some sparkly stuff. And as she's getting organised, she's wearing her a fancy kimono thingy wing. It's all right. Pretty and true. she yeah. then notices a, a building across from the villa, which is, according like, like, to... Uh, a, a, a greenhouse, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to the teacher, mm -hmm. who ca came to accompany them, I guess, Yeah, to it's a chaperone to make sure no one plays hanky-panky in the middle of the night. Well, yeah. considering that she's the only girl, and they're all the, uh, the, uh, the young guys. Bucks, yeah. Anyway... <laughs> Um, she goes in there and she finds um, a lot of plants and trees and stuff. And, and she and realised mm. she saw her mother's plants. She recognised them straight away. Yeah, uh, and the guy there tells her about how the teacher guy, yeah. how he was part of the old um, spring group. Fe festival group that he, when he was young and with he her was, mother. And, and, yeah, he was with it her. It was called the. Um, the mystery, theme, uh, mis miracles and other. and blessings, or yeah, somewhere. And <clears throat> he remarks about how his her mother was the leader of the group, and he tells leader about of the pack. Shut up. And she goes on about how to that she w inspired them and inspired him because when he Just was like she did. Cause when he was trying to develop his own spark at the time he had he had an artistic block what was he doing he was, uh, he was making pottery that's right he's a, pot he's a, yeah, he's a potter yeah, yeah, yeah. and when he encountered her making her flower, flower arrangement thing he kind of bumps into her when she's bringing in peaches probably for her flower thing and for he lunch. tells her um he grabs one of them and he says, "You can keep it." And that inspired him to just make this beautiful pottery yeah, clay it, pot. Yeah, made thing. him feel good inside, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think he was also. Magic, yeah. I also think he was in love with her. <clears throat> I think. Well, infatuated or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we don't know. I don't think they're on item or anything. Right? No, I know, but I think he's in love. Was um, uh, one of those um, one-sided loves, if you can call it that. Well. You know, yeah. That, anyway. Never mind. So they pl they later that evening, um, our group start playing with the fireworks and playing with the sparkler things. I like those sparkler things. I never tried one, but I like to try one one of these days for a special occasion. <coughs> it's exciting. It's, like, it's like, like a little welding rod. Because it, well, mm. it doesn't hurt your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's rather cool. <coughs> anyway, later on, that as the fireworks the die and out stuff, and stuff, yeah. um, they all discuss going their separate ways because after this they will go on to do their own workshops classes and like most workshops in art schools you'll be in separate classrooms they will oh. yes because each one has, does different subjects like um anyway but then our le the guy the leader of the group just comes up with this plan that he presents to the teacher the deck next day when they plant their memory tree that they oh yeah they had planted the a tree there yeah, yeah at the greenhouse yeah. yeah and as they're talking they tell the teacher that their plan of making a, an event committee group where they'll that's a good idea hey yeah of course he says this is well this is new to him because this is that this has never been done before but they suggest they could you please be our faculty you know, thingy wingy. You know, person to keep an eye on us. He says that he's done. He, he he'll move on and stuff like that. But um, they said, please, 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 please. <laughs> and eventually, Whatever. he says he'll present this <clears throat> idea to the principal, the dean, and we'll see. 
of course they misdiagnose this and say, yay, he said yes. <laughs> but he says, don't, this, don't listen, just stop listening halfway and all that stuff. Well, but eventually, you know. later on, we find out that the dean eventually accepts their proposal. And, yep. and they, their first event thing is Halloween. So they start organizing activities and stuff like that. And they also arrange a play, a sort of Sleeping Beauty play. I bet you guys were thinking it was going to be Cinderella. Well, no. that deals with pumpkins, yeah, all that stuff. But I think this one's a little bit better because in this one, it deals with not just one prince, but say six princes, I think, in this one. Wouldn't you say, Mike? Probably, yeah. Because in this one... Works for me. Yeah. Anyway, um, so... They arrange this competition, or at least her friend does, because she's an, uh, an acting drama major, whatever they call uh, okay. it. Okay. And she get she gets yeah, them right, to yeah. do several, you know, tasks or tests where they have to demonstrate, um, you know, their skills as a possible prince or possible lead, obviously. And, of course, our lead girl is going to be playing Sleeping Beauty. No no contest here. A, little, a bit like you. Which is a bit odd morning, because it, wouldn't you be casting actors yeah. to in a play, not not your best friend? I don't know. Well, oh, see, well, no one's work well. No, nah, who knows? It's not important. Well, it actually is. It's, it is important because this is supposed to be an art academy, not a high school. Anyway, so, anyway, our group... Goes through these tests, and eventually, our lead guy eventually becomes the head prince who will become sort of the chief prince that she naturally falls in love with. Obviously, funny, that, hey, funny, ha ha ha. ha, ha. ha, ha. Anyway, um, so they start getting things organized, they start rehearsing all that stuff, but then something the dean approaches them and tells them that that our lead girl is going to be expelled from school because he noticed something about the sculpture. The sculpture they did in the art session thing is starting to crack in certain places, which indicates something is not currently right here, which could mean that something is wrong with her magic. And he says to her that to stop using the magic because whatever it is, is her powers... A draining? A draining or something. And... Mm. If she continues using this magic, she'll wither away or die. Anyway, she tries a couple times to get her magic to function well, but each time she tries to make a new flower arrangement, something is going wrong. The like the spark is not no longer sparking. It's like she's using up too much. Eventually, she kind of slips into a magical coma, if you will, when you say? Somewhat, yeah. And when she does slip into this coma, the special stairs, I should mention, they get crushed and damaged and destroyed. So she can't walk up them? Yeah, oh. well, it was done intentionally. But somehow, something damaged them. Anyway, she's in a, in a coma, and all the guys are worried about her. They all in, visit her individually to express how they wish her to get better. Yeah, of and course... And they love her deeply, dearly as a friend and all yeah. that good groovy stuff. Yeah. Of course they tried everything they could to try to figure out a cure for this thing, but there's no cure to be had. If I feel a bit like Slim Beauty, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> their leader discovers, works out that it's hmm. not talking that will make her wake up. It's magic, meaning their artistic abilities that might bring yeah. her out of yeah. her coma. Funny so I... they use their abilities, him and his singing, um, guy with his cello, um, Monet with his artwork, and everyone else contributes as much as they could. And, and this, la- this transforms them into her subconscious, which is like a thorny Sleeping Beauty's area yep. story where it's all thorny and stuff like that and they use their magical sword to cut through the through all whatever all the thorns and stuff just yeah. like poor old Sleeping Beauty in that castle yeah, yeah, yeah. They, as they continue chopping their way through she finally wakes up from her slumber She she's in a sort of um sort of a sleeping inside her mind you know slowly not not waking up but eventually as the sun starts coming through the through the um, clouds and suddenly the whole scenery changes from thorny landscape to 
a field with flowers and butterflies all over the place. Oh, lovely. And there is her mother who pushes her and she then develops these big wings in the back of her, butterfly wings. Ooh. And she then mm. finally makes her say her goodbyes to her mother and she sends off to to her friends. Maybe it was her mother was holding her back, or her, her memories of her mother might have been holding her back mm. and, 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 and stopping she, her yeah, uh, she, being herself properly, maybe. Yeah, she kept on uh, idolizing the being her, idolizing the thought of being her like her mother, yeah. but not realizing mm. that... She should be being herself. Yeah. yeah, she then descends Somewhere. to the yeah. sky, yeah. and this is indicates that she's finally reunited with her friends, and they go to the special staircase and using what her their, their new, her newfound powers and theirs, they kind of repair the staircase, and all of them ascended f- up towards the um, f- through the staircases as it's descending up and up. Soon enough, it's even more beautiful than it was before when you say yeah, and yeah, everyone yeah. notices this and even the dean and the teachers notices and Whoa. and they were impressed that she came back and the stairs so she wasn't going to be expelled anymore Isn't that lovely then later on it's around halloween and everyone's getting their everything <clears throat> organized and of course, I like the costumes uh, they're wearing. I like how Monet is wearing a hedgehog outfit. I'm amazed his hedgehog friend is yeah. not dressed as a hedgehog how too. How dare you insulted me? No. You're dressed as a hedgehog. <laughs> the others are dressed like the like the alter egos, including um, Louis wearing a very revealing a genie outfit. I yeah, he looked and good. Yeah, in one scene, yeah. he was throwing the pamphlets around and or, uh, the candy around, yeah. and his friend says. Button up, even though he's supposed They're to be like that. They're doing shirt off or unbuttoned ah. shirt, yeah. Yeah, if, if you got it, why not flaunt it, hey? Yeah. Well, there you go then. Yeah. yeah, anyway. And so they get, so they start doing the Halloween thing, you know, the usual stuff. <clears throat> and eventually they do the play, and then as the play, they get it, it's all done, you get to see sort of snippets of what the play is about and stuff like that. It's It gives you a bit of interesting inklings. Mm-hmm. And later on, as they're back at their, you know, headquarters or stuff, they discuss their next event. We're hoping to celebrate Christmas as their next event to plan. Uh-huh. So they discuss it for the next meeting, then the credits, and, and that's the end of the whole series. The end. Wow. I'm so excited. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what she's guys thinking. Okay. Now I have talked about it. Now I won't be able to watch it. No, no. No, it's, it's, it's a good watch. It's about 13 episodes. 13 episodes. 13 episodes. 13 episodes. Usually it's, it's 12. Some of the some It's a bank of dust in this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say too much about anything else. Uh, obviously, there's no, re- uh, no critique, no critiques on it. Um, I like it. I mean, th- I've seen quite a few anime st- uh, programs, movies, and series of Sarah over the past year or so, and mm. this is one of the better ones. Um, I agree. I do like it, and as an adult, I'm 70, I was 70 the other month, uh, I don't mind it as an old person, because I enjoy, um, what's the word? I wouldn't say it's a teenage thing, but it's it is more suited for younger people. But it's not ridiculously aimed at stupid pure old adolescent stuff. What yeah. he's trying to say yeah. is um, not for it, um, a no, younger no, no, younger no, kid no, no, audience. I'm not, I'm not, it's made for a younger audience, but doesn't focus on pure old stupid crap. The teenage other, it's a good story. Mm-hmm. So anyone c- from any age can actually enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what, trying, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good watch. Um, now, um, I'm going to give it about, gee, it, I can't say great acting and stuff because they're all, car- they're all cartoon characters. Uh, I, 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 um, but, look, I'm, I'm going to give it, I don't often give it 10. I give this a 10 because the story's good, the direction's good, um, the artwork's fantastic mm, I yeah, liked, as usual yeah I certainly um, like the songs in this especially yeah, the songs went bad, yeah, in yeah. this place I'm always Don't alone give up a day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my heart is beating leaving uh, yeah, people behind. turn off now you're losing followers sorry <laughs> but <laughs> I do like that song it's such it's okay. so beautiful now, and while the other ones well, in the song it, the other a, songs seem to be not in English but that's not important well, that's okay. you're going to be writing yeah, I'm gonna rate it um, nine stars out of nine out of 
10, obviously. Yeah, okay. Now, where do you get it? Now, if you want to go and buy a copy, you may find some on eBay. You can, I think, see it through Prime Video. You can even see it in Crunchyroll, oh, okay. if you will. I was going to say that. Great. You can stream through Crunchyroll, mm. if you remember. Um, if you go tr looking for product, you know, you know, Amazon and eBay and other places, mm. there's audio CDs as well, mm. so be careful. Um, and there's also a live action version, I believe. Mm. So we're talking about the anime one, okay? Yeah. Um, mm. Now, however, having said all that, you can see it on YouTube for free. Mm. That's where we got it from. Yeah, uh -huh. and exactly. So, so if you want to, you know, cut the middleman and not what, yeah. get the DVD. No, the point is, um, it's, it's always good to go it on. It makes it hard to get this go to YouTube, and I, I don't normally say YouTube. Because sometimes the quality on YouTube, it's been compressed or it's third or fourth generation yeah. stuff. It's not easy to look yeah. at. No, it's not bad. It's reasonably good quality. So yeah. and, and, and it's got subtitles. Uh -huh. Yeah, and sometimes animes, they would often delete the ending. Or, yeah, but it's all there. Which is yeah. hard, give, making it half finished, which is so not really good. right when you think about it. And each one's about, what, 23 minutes or something long or something? So yeah, 23 or 20. So nice self-contained little thingy wingies. And yeah, it's good. Mm. Like I said, I enjoy it, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm and I'm an old fart. I'm seventy years old. Mm -hmm. Sarah is in the late thirties. Mm. I don't mind watching yeah. all um, yeah. cartoons. They make me feel like I connect to a younger audience. Yeah, because I feel like. But like I said, it's, it is aimed at. See, a lot of manga stuff is not just aimed at teens. It's just no. a, aimed at general people. And, but they do often have teens in them. Mm. So yeah. yeah, yeah. What you're gonna find with anime yep. and manga is that it's sort of for all audiences. Yeah, I mean, yeah. sometimes um, you get there's a, that's that's the thing about this this sort of thing. You're gonna go, you're gonna have to be careful which types of animes and mangas you you actually check out because yeah. some of them might be directed to an adult audience, which yes. means you have to be very Kiddies, careful. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, it's gonna even though you could probably check it up on Wikipedia and say, and this will give you um, the genre thingy wing. But you have to, if you have to, you have to know this sort of thing in anime and manga. I'm only just a beginner, so I'm actually still trying to figure out which ones I don't, I should not watch. Yes, exactly. Anyway. Mm. Well, anyway, so you know where to find it, and you know um, our thoughts on it. So it's up to you now to actually check it out. But by this by exactly. this point, you may not want to check it out because we've already told you the story. No, no, no. We and we we glossed over it. Um, you got to look at there's something like what twenty three mm -hmm. uh, twenty three minutes the episode. Mm -hmm. There's thirteen episodes. That's a lot of minutes. Oh yeah. Mm, so yeah. It's a, um, so yeah, it's a good watch. It goes a few hours, but it's yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good yeah, watch if you yeah. like anime stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want to watch an uh, one that will just that you like ones with dealing with first harems where the girl is, gets all these attractive guys. They're mainly that's yeah. always a good way to go. They're hmm. always. I think just about every one I've seen has been reverse harem almost. Well, it's a <laughs> lot more exciting if it's it was a, a guy, a, a female. Uh, protagonist of all these men running around. Yeah, uh, there's time slips. There's lo ordinary ones. Uh, oh, it's always a, a sole female surrounded by guys looking to uh, wed her and better her. Yeah. So. Well, <laughs> remove the bed part. Well, yeah, they don't do it, but yeah. Well, they, there's, you know, there's sort of a bit of sexual tension shows up in the more well, mature v stories. Yeah. Well, that Louis guy uh, was practically doing. S Yes. Throwing sex all yeah, over the yeah, place, he's including sexual. the whole yeah, that's what I'm sex saying, basketball and sex yeah, volleyball. Yeah. So yeah, sexy, not sex. Yeah. Um, but no, mm. there is sexual tension in the more mature anime things. Mm. So, yeah. so it's it, it's good, but they don't do anything <laughs> last or lewd or rude on it. So it's good. Yeah. Although I did think it was amusing when he did his photos when they were doing the photos for to introduce the members of the group. He did it like if it was a romance novel type approach. Yes, somewhat. Anyway, do you want to kill this? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you guys know where it is, and we'll see you guys for our next podcast. Yeah. I think the next one we're going to be doing will be something that you may or may not like, but I thought we might review it because we've been... Don't I, tell them. It's going to be a surprise. It will be a surprise. But something grizzly. Yeah, <laughs> and for I haven't told... I told this to Mike just a while ago, that since I watched it, it, it has... 
it kind of kept me up that night after I watched it. Yes, a bit of a okay. It gave yeah, me a little bit of, of a sort of queasy, but not so. Not yeah, not not, not, not a good a, feeling. Yeah, not a funny just, feeling about but it. But it's it's um it's a how do I it's a well known movie. Yeah, but not widely liked movie. Yeah. By a lot of people in some yeah. countries. Did some countries ban it, do they? Yeah, about Australia and probably Italy. Yeah, they banned um, it because it's just it's a, a little bit too graphic. Yeah. You yeah. may have heard me mention it once or twice in, when we, in our last oh, episode. Oh, okay, mention the name of it. Okay, we're going to look at probably doing um, Cannibal Holocaust. Yes. Uh, Sorry, guys. Yes, and, and I'm going to suggest those who have a weak stomach, Maybe don't watch it. No. Yeah. no, it's pretty grisly. It's really it's yeah. it's good if you like stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's it's really up there. But it's, mm, it's it was. Um, we'll talk about that next time. Yeah. Though. So this is Sarah Stevenson and Michael saying, "See you guys around on Boys and Ghouls Film Review." Bye for now. Bye, folks.